Let's see, do I have? Must have restarted my computer at some point. When did I restart my computer? Had it been sometime recently. Hello, Jason. Welcome. I am double checking that my death counter is correct by jumping over to the end Which of my last stream. Pretty... 33. We're gonna die shortly. Everyone okay, it should be at night. 34. And now to get the script actually running. I am super prepared, like always. Though, it's funny, I opened up Streamlabs and it updated and then it was like, I forgot all of your credentials. And I'm like, oh, I don't remember my password. It's what I have password managers for. Oh, hello. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, death counter script. Okay, I think that's running. Uh, which must need it's running correctly. Yeah, there we go. Cool. That has happened. To yeah. Like I was hanging out in Case's stream because I've been playing Overwatch, doing good gerb. Almost back to gold. I'm so proud of her. How's my day going? My day has been. For the most part, quiet. I ended up getting a silent migraine triggered last night, which I do not like going to bed um, when I'm in the middle of a silent migraine because um, I'll get really, really bad nightmares. And since I've been already kind of suffering from nightmares, I just tried to stay up until it wore off, and that was until like 5 a.m. Stop! <laughs> So, been, today's been relatively quiet. Played some Valheim. Hello, Rue. Hello, Kay. Welcome. Wake up. Okay, we're on loop 34. We had a plan, and I don't actually remember what the plan was. Oh, were we going to see if we could follow... How's it going? It's going okay. Could definitely be a lot worse. Had a lot of fun with Among Us last night. Oh, I should have actually seen if there was any updates. I don't think there was any updates to our thing. So, um, actually, we're gonna pause real quick. Because I think I left my battle.net going. And I don't want you to constantly hear the pinging of people coming on and off. Okay, I think everything's good. Okay. Resume. Uh, we are going... I'm gonna try going to the Dark Bramble again and try to see if we can follow... Um... Do have signal scope? Actually. We have Outer Wilds, Quantum Fluctuations, the distress beacon. I do not think we found this other distress beacon. That Valorant game was stressful. Oh no. Did you win though? Asking the real questions here. Alright, because I think we were trying to get to the distress beacon, and I think I died. Guess in overtime? Yay! Well, now you can have a break and watch me probably die a ton as I try to follow where this distress beacon is. Might get nommed by a fish a time or two. I'm gonna pause real quick, make sure. It's only through. There somewhere. Ah, that one. Okay. Slow it down a bit. God, that their distress beacons are obnoxious sounds. 
but he lost the first seven rounds in a row. Oh no. Well, at least you ended on a win. Unless you're continuing to play more. Ooh, 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 what is happening? Ooh, I am not okay with what is currently happening. I don't know what's ha happening. I am... Dying? Dying. I think that's what I'm happening. Okay, we're gonna... Stop here. Maybe. Okay. Auto- Oh, autopilot is damaged, that's why. Uh, unbuckle. Let us go fix our... Very important... piece of machinery. Anything else that's broken on you? Doesn't look like it. Oh. Got that match velocity button. Saves me so much. Everything looks fixed. Buckle back up. Signal scope. Where is the distress beacon? On the other side of... things are moving around because it doesn't I don't feel like I should be hitting stuff ow what did I just hear did I hear a fishy come to nom me no okay we stopped oh I hear oh hi fishy no thank you Please stop. Ow, ow. God, I am so lost. Uh, I need to go past the fish. Fishy, are you guarding the distress beacon? Because if so, asshole move. A lot of damage to you, so. Nope, that's not what I want. I want to unbuckle. I wonder if it's like the Valheim boats, and even if you're moving, if you un, if you leave, it'll just stop. But we didn't immediately die to the fish. Is this stuff that's damaged? Said a lot was damaged. confused. Nothing is coming up to repair. What do you say is damaged? Everything. Like, everything. Everything's damaged. Uh, the bottom, the reactor, their side... Spooky new planet. This is actually the planet we very first... Oh yeah, so things just move and wreck up my day. Got it. This was actually the very first planet we went on when I'm just like, I can explore shit. Um, I'm trying to get more information on how to... I'm so confused. You say there's lots. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. That's repaired. Just need to roll my face on it. Got it. Uh, uh, uh. Nope. There was another repair. Yes. 
aft hull, and there was something around here. Bottom, I thought. Yeah, this is the dark bramble planet that has just like infinite po po pocket dimensions in it. Starboard hull damaged. I think it's fine. It's good enough. Okay, back to trying to chase down this distress beacon without getting numbed by a fish. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, do, is that actually it? Is it not within another pocket dimension? <gasps> we have found it. Excellent. We're gonna pause here. Hello, Karam. How are you this evening? Let's imagine general in a stress look as we were one loss away from losing the whole match for the final five rounds till we got to Oh, so you clutched a win from the jaws of defeat. That is good. I'm leaving. Two. Open hatch. Way okay. inside. Like there. Oh, no, just, ooh. just gotta work and you have to implement a facility in four weeks. Ooh. You are having long days and long hours. Switch this side. And you say, oh, no. Our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place, destroying our movement and communication capabilities in the process. We've held out as long as we could here, but this pod's supply of breathable air is nearly depleted and the angler fish attack more and more frequently. Our best chance at survival is to return to the vessel to either repair the damage or, more probably, await rescue. Seka, is the message finished? The vessel's beacon is already growing fainter. It will be gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave here quickly. So they tried to go back to the vessel. Next week's going to be travel on Sunday, then several 13-hour days. I hope you are being paid well for this. Maybe? Oh, oh, because I didn't have this out wall. Escape pod. See? Now you know. I know we can just continue investigating. Put this away so hopefully it'll stop screaming at me. Anything else to discover in here though? Um do do do. Begin flight lock. Ooh, nope. Stop moving, please. Thanks. Escape pod three. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. Now launching escape pod three. Multiple collisions have altered pod's trajectory. Significant damage to pod detected. Navigation error. Life support error. Propulsion error. Scanning internal external environment. Scan complete. Gravity not detected. Breathable air not detected. Multiple life forms detected. Post Potentially hostile. Verdict. Do not exit pod. Well, unfortunately, they had 
no other option. So, oh, it's another one I had a thought. There is a new problem. Our equipment is detecting two distinct beacons from the vessel. But it is impossible for the vessel to be in two different locations at the same time. I agree, but the beacons are exactly identical to each other. Perhaps if I had more time. We're nearly out of time already, Din. The vessel's beacon is quickly fading. Soon it will be gone and we will be lost. We will follow the beacon whose source is nearest to us. But suppose that beacon is false. We likely don't have enough air to reach the farther of the two beacons, Din. The decision is made for us. We'll leave a trail of lights as we go. There's still a chance someone could hear or escape pause the stress signal. Ah, so I guess we're gonna be playing follow the leader. Good luck up, David. I'm just glowing light. Just be glowing light. Uh, let's see what is behind this door. Oh. Yeah. Emergency escape pouch. Yeah, because this is probably just another exit. And there are the glowing lights. Uh, do we take our ship? I think we're going to need to take our ship. I do not know how far it is. We are rather low on fuel already. So my ship is over there. I hope we have enough time. I did faff on about... Yeah, worst case we come back. We have infinite do-overs. So let's see what the fuel this is. Uh, view entry. All three were launched from something called the vessel. The survivors are going to take a two distinct pieces from the vessel as if it was in two locations. Which makes sense because the planet we're in is just pocket dimension within pocket dimension within pocket dimension. Uh, Band of the Wrecking attempted to return the vessel. Survivors decided to follow the coast of the two vessel beacons due to their limited air supply. Okay. So let us go and follow their breadcrumbs. Oh, I should probably have fixed my ship. It's fine. Okay. Find the lights. My ship. There we go. This way. Mm, I don't have anything to... Okay, so it's just gonna match... Through the twisty turns. Oh, actually, I wonder if there's anything coming up on the signal scope. Oh, don't see anything. Don't see anything with Hayden. Oh, there's the closer of the two. And I don't. Yeah, nothing's coming through the distress. I don't know. It's my insurance. Nothing's even coming up. Quantum fluctuations. Oh no, that's them, isn't it? Wait, they have the masks. Open hatch. That is very unfortunate. Any who come here searching for us, we followed one of the two beacons from the vessel to this place, but now can go no further. Oh. Oop, that's not what I wanted to happen. Oh, interesting, when I shoot the scout, it actually does momentum. As, you know, you would with physics. Okay, let's get back. Put this away. There we go. 
It's almost too faint to hear now, but the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from within the thorny seed. Yet the opening is too small for even a single Namai to fit through, so our escape pod couldn't have flown through here. I don't understand how this could be possible, but this gruesome place seems able to manipulate space itself. Maybe this was our undoing. To be so close to the location of the vessel and still so far is... difficult. Worse, the vessel's beacon is dying. Soon we will be unable to hear it. There is nothing we can do now but try to perhaps find a way inside or at least attempt to comprehend why this happened. My dearest hope is that the other escape pods were able to reach relative safety. So these are what the Namai look like. I wonder if I'm small enough to fit in. Like, I know what will be small enough to fit in. The way I want the robe. And now I can follow the duplicate signal. Let's see, what can I... Um, I want it to land on something just so it's not like... Oh, is that the vessel? I think that's the Namai vessel. It's gonna land there. Yes! Okay. Let us go head towards that duplicate signal. Come on, my trust. Ooh, wait. You know what I should do? Be smart and do a repair. Figure out which. Yes! Excellent. Ooh. Prepared! Yay! I did a thing. Looks like dead bodies, yep. Like, I wonder... There isn't necessarily that much sense of, like, a time that it was that... Like, all I know is it's been in the past, but I don't know how far in the past. Enough for bodies to decompose to skeletons, but... Also, what decomposed the bodies? There isn't any oxygen here. Like, oh, there's the anglerfish, so I guess there could be bacteria that could break things down. Zvizzle. I launched my scout into the seed in my grave and took photos of an enormous derelict in my vessel. Yep. I launched my scout to the seed. I can take fo photos of... Yep. Which we did. Let's go... Oh, is it that red light? Oh, can I not fit through here? I don't think. Am I stuck? I'll be very sad if I get stuck. Okay. One point four. One point two. Oh, hi. Oh, there's so many. Why are there so many? Hi. Um, we're just gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go back up for a minute. Um, hmm. Oh, I'm back outside, outside. Huh. Weird. Oh, fishy, 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 Nope, I got eaten. Bitches. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go back to the pod, follow the lights again. But I should be able to do it with more time. What I might need to try to do is just speed past the fish? Breathe. 
And there's the thing shooting and exploding. Yeah, so the time loop is literally when that fired off. At least I now know what that thing was exploding. Get my suit. Pull up. Going to ramble. Likelihood that this is going to be throwing me into the sun. High chance. Okay. Yes, I know I have boarded the autopilot because you're sending me too close to the sun. Nope. Way too close to the sun that I, that I'm comfortable with. Okay. Now I'm at least. Where did the dark ramble go? Hold my speed, because I am yeeting myself off into space, and that's not quite what we want right now. Okay. Where am I? Oh! I am actually not that far, apparently. I say not far, and I'm still like five kilometers away. And equip signal scope. Stress beacon. Like the planet designs are so cool. Probably the red light that I have to go to, but I'd rather follow the correct path because this place is just twists and turns. that I need to follow. So far I have not damaged my ship. I'm rather proud of myself. Bye. 
my ship. I'm curious, what can I see? Do I see all the fish? No, I don't see all the fish. I do see one of the portal buttholes, though. I guess is the one that we're going to be entering. to look at what was I no nothing was new I think I did check it before I died now to follow the red light and try not to get eaten by fish this time as I try So I think as soon as I go through here, we're gonna have some angry fish on the other side, and I cannot back up otherwise. Yep. There's like, oh my god, how many of them are there? I wonder if there's another way. Like if I back out. Or if, can I sneak by them? I wonder if I can just sneak by them on my own without the ship. Like, I would be a little fucked if it's too far to reach on my... on what I have on myself now. But... Worth a shot. Also, I'm gonna see whether following the red. Stop. Moving too much. Scramble. Far. Very close to the sun. On the other side of the sun. So let's look around the sun a bit. Head towards it. Hmm. Computer is such a good room heater right now. Soon. Most of the computer uh, water cooling parts are ordered. Um, so it's just waiting for the motherboard that I want to be off of back order and, you know, for me to receive all my parts, which still might not be for another month, month plus. Just because of the way the PC part industries are right now. Or nope. I took it a little fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll stop. I'll go fix it because you are very, very upset. I just gotta figure out. Let's be. Probably should have looked. Oh, jeez. Ow. Oh. Um, it exploded. What aggroes the anglers? Just me being there. Yeah, everything is pretty messed up. Yeah. Like, I have the graphics card and the CPU, which are the two hardest things to receive right now. So I think that was our first time dying to our ship exploding. We've gotten eaten a couple of times. 
I think it's the first time for her. Keep actually exploding. I have no weapons, correct. I have a scout launcher, which is a giant flashlight as well as a at range camera that can see ghost spirits. My signal scope, which is basically a walkie talkie that I put in a direction and it picks up different signals. Um, a flashlight. I have a flashlight. But I don't really have any weapons or anything like that. Like there, there has to be a way that I can take the jellyfish to make myself electric immune so I can go to the center of the tornado planet. Yeah, we're just gonna take it a little bit slower than I was. I was trying to rush it. Ease it on in there. Go to the red light. Fishy. Excuse me, angry fishies. Don't want. Ow. I keep seeing its mouth. Oh no. But it's so close to eating me. No, no consenty. Shit. Nope, it got me. Turn my lights off. Does it track to my headlights? Is there a way to go completely dark? Questions. Where's the giant scuba tank? Well, I that's kind of what I'm in. Unless you mean like a giant military sub or are you just saying uh, a d giant tank for me to they do appear to be waking up when you get close yes jaws reference uh, okay I put them in the jaws and then explode it I understand We're out of pilot. So I wonder if they're docile and maybe you can sneak past if they always aggro when you get near. That's what I'm- they always seem to aggro when I get near. We're gonna try seeing if my headlight's off. Whether that changes anything. I don't- Knows what's okay. 
Oh no, I'm going to die. Unless I miss it somehow. Oh, thank god I missed it. I hit the wrong button. Engage autopilot. Yeah, because I was going like so fast. Almost there. There we go. It's gonna be a whale. Yeah, so I'm gonna try going by them with my headlights off. Because we can now, now that we know where one is pretty close to the start of the uh, Dark Bramble, we can do our testing on him. Because blasting full speed didn't seem to cut it when there was two. You yeah, know, they were two. The, the thing was, there was more than two. One, two. There was actually three, possibly more. But they aggroed as soon as I even entered. Like I, the very first time I did that, they started coming towards me. I wasn't even going that fast, which is why I was able to back up. Perhaps if I tried to. Gross. Stop. Natural velocity. Okay. Don't accidentally hit B again instead of A. Because before I would just try to. Okay. Headlights are off. thing I wonder. I hear one. Nothing's here. Oh dear. Ah shit. Okay, so it did have a harder time seeing me. It didn't see me right away until I was like right next to it. So maybe that's it. Oh, but those are too close for me to sneak by. I'll try giving it a little bit more of a wider earth. <gasps> it might have, but the thing is, is I can't, I have no option, but things, and I was also like tapping it. Could you launch your scout in the ship? and use its light to distract it. That's what I'm wondering. The problem is, is that I, once I figure out how to get past them, I can't necessarily use my scout because I need the scout locator to tell me which direction I need to go. sun station, which we're going to have to get to at some point. Because right now, where we're getting held up, we can't get to the sun station because it's too close to the sun. We can't get to the center of the tornado planet 
because we need some way to shield ourselves from electricity. We can't get to the vessel because fish want to eat us. Fast. Unbuckle. And hatch. Nope. So, let me immediately back in. Not what I wanted. Um. Oh no, I have lost my ship. Oh. Shit. Please be here. Ship. Ship. Oh no. Oh wait, okay. Woo! Oh no. Okay, that wasn't. Ship, no, no, I want my ship. Stay, ship. You stupid space butthole. Let me get to my ship. Shit, I got a, I I got out of my ship at the worst possible place. Oh no, I don't even think I can get back into my ship. Mistakes were made. Yeah, I I I fucked up. Okay. I'm just gonna go slow. Hopefully, when I get. Fast. Okay. Come on. There we go. Stop. Shit. Damage was to the top of my ship. Was that all of the damage? If that was all of the damage, I'm going to be ready. Okay, now to get back in. Here, just gonna stick as close to my ship as possible. Oh, thank God. Okay. Refuel, I remember. Buckle up. Okay. Lights are off. So I'm gonna get to that light. I think. No, I didn't need to. I think that's a fish. Yep, that's a fish right there. literally just drifting past it. Nope. Yep. It responds to... So it responds to the sound of my jets. So. If... Yes. I have to use momentum, which is very dangerous when I cannot see where I am going. And basically have to hope and pray. Uh, hey. Okay. That I am able to angle myself in the correct direction. Okay. 
I don't know if I actually suit up. Buckle up. Go into Dark Bramble. Which now makes me kind of want to go and get exactly where I need to go, um, re-put the... Nope. Now cancel this, because you're gonna just send me into the sun. Because you just like to watch this... The autopilot just likes to watch me suffer. Okay, now I can autopilot. Yep, so turn off my headlight. And then just... Momentum myself past. Great. I am going to go back, follow the lights, throw my tracker so I know exactly where to go and when I know and then when I have to go through that one, no, as soon as I shoot myself through it, do not hit my rockets. And hope I have angled myself correctly. Stop, stop, stop. Get through here. Whip signal scope. Distress beacon. Follow the wailing siren call of distress. Lights are going. If I can do this, nope. Yes. Ha ha ha! It's the ship. Okay. As soon as I go through here. Ooh, that is falling debris. Excuse me. You're in my way of me lining up my shot. Okay. Back 
exactly what they are. Okay. We're gonna aim right there. Don't think I got enough momentum. <sighs> no, we fell. We quiet. We're hunting wabbits. Like, luckily, I can hit the looking around key. How far away are we? Not very far right now. Yeah, there was- but there were three! Nope, not yet! Ooh, what is that? What are you? Are these anglerfish eggs that we are hurtling towards? Questions. Oh no. I think we're far enough away. Yeah, I cannot see them. What are you? Yeah, my guess are these are anglerfish eggs. I don't know if there's any use to them, but it could explain. Okay, so we're gonna pause. Oh yeah, because there is some more babies over there. Understandable, because if this is a nest, um, understandable why they're fucking everywhere. Okay. Um, I give myself a little juice and then just hopefully glide into a safe area. Oh, but that explains so much. Scout is over there. In through there. Okay. I feel safe about using... I just hope that there's nothing on the other side. No, it's not the... Well, oh, is the core the... Would it be the eggs? Because those are definitely an eggs. It's like, this is a nest. We have found an anglerfish nest. Please be safe on the other side. Please be safe on the other side. Yes. No lights? No, there were lights um, in some of the eggs. And we found the shoot! Oh, I'm so proud of us. Yeah, like, I, I had turned off my lights. Um, only used my rockets at the vessel, there are no lights. Well, so no anglers. True. You are true. You are correct. I'm just, like, hyper cautious right now, because I'm like, don't want to fuck this up. So it took quite a few deaths to get here. Okay. Fuel, we are in a thing. Let's go explore. Oof, this place got wrecked. That's a lot of skeletons, unfortunately. Random light. Just filling. Bring this. I can shoot this over here for light. Ooh, look important. Oh, oxygen, sweet. So we have a ball. That looks like something to read here. Warp core! Yes! Um, I have you. I think I need you for something. 
I don't know what that something's gonna be, but I have you. What, can I put it back in? Probably not. Oh wait, insert warp core? Oh, I'm guessing this warp core might be damaged. I might need to make a new one. Oh god, timing for everything. That warp core looks damaged, yeah. We're probably gonna need to make a new one. We know exactly where they're made. Because, we're gonna pause real quick. Because they're made at the Black Forge. Which, we were trying to figure out a, a timing for getting the forge to go up and then to hit the teleport. I just forgot exactly where the teleport is. So, I wonder what happens if we make a new one and bring it back here. Oh, that's, that's, you know, we're getting to a point where, like, timing is starting to be, going to become important, and I, you know, really bad with timing. Ooh, what's this? Oh. Wait, is this the... That's the signal of the the world thing of thing. I'm recording now. I've never encountered anything like this. The signal the vessel is receiving appears to be older than the universe itself. This is our first contact with anything of this nature. Everyone, prepare to warp immediately. Eskel, wait, I need more time to send an outgoing message. Shouldn't we tell another clan where we're going? We can send the message upon our arrival. This, this extraordinary signal appears suddenly. It may disappear just as quickly, and we can't lose a discovery this incredible. Focus on preparing for the warp instead. I understand. Aye aye, Capitan! Anona, is the vessel ready to warp to the signal's approximate coordinates? The warp core is powered, but this will be a significant jump. Afterwards, we'll need time to recharge the core. That shouldn't create a problem, provided we arrive at or near the signal source. Everybody, we're ready to warp. And... And nothing but tears followed. Okay, let's... To roll. Roll of left bumper and... There we go. Okay, now things are kind of right side up. Hello! Welcome! How are you doing today, Caesar? Oh, uh, oh. Things are right side up. Again, don't know. <laughs> doing good? Glad to hear you're doing well. I'm I'm doing okay. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need to bring a repaired core up here. Ooh, writing. Yes, please. Stop. To any Namai clans whose vessels can hear this message. It's clear the universe is dying? There are f wait, 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 wait. This, this seems important. It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within space now. So my clan and I believe the best option is for all of our clans to stay together. If you can reach the gloaming galaxy, we found that Blackrock suns are fairly stable, and life in the star system is comparatively thriving. We live in relative safety. If you prefer to continue exploring alone, know you will be on your own. Hannah, we're making our way to you. It's good to hear from you, Bromi. We'll watch for your vessel. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on its way to our vessel, but they never arrived, and he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. 
It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell. The disappearance of a skull. I remember hearing that story as a child. One day, Eskel's vessel simply stopped responding. The other clans searched and searched, but found no trace. It was as their missing friends had warped out of existence. That's no myth, friends. Eskel's clan existed, and their story was real. What a curious event to have passed into myth. Our ancestors' ancestors were told that story when they were young. Are you sure it's true, Hysop? That's this vessel? I'm not sure if it's this vessel. Too close to target. Stop. It was a very long time ago, but yes, my clan's ancestors searched for Eskal's clan for a long time. Was Eskal the one telling to warp? But in the end, none of them were ever seen again. It's the only time in our history a vessel has ever disappeared this way. Then how did they get this message? Were they receiving and not being able to transmit? Isop, I hope you aren't comparing a skull story to my clan's vessel. Neem, my friend, we feared you were gone. Not yet, we aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our warp. The triple stones of the bright spark system of star system exploded, and it was only a lucky coincidence we weren't caught in the blast. We'll meet you soon, Kana. But Kana is someone we also know. I'm relieved your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessels nearby, remember to be extremely cautious of potentially unstable stars, which is most of them now. Oh, okay. So the unstable stars are not might not necessarily be caused by the Namai. Hmm. The blog updated. This is a skull's vessel. Something went badly wrong during our warp, and our vessel is mortally wounded. Yep. We need help as quickly as possible. Our vessel appears to have... Has it fused with the local environment somehow? There are vines that are now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from inside itself. We, we are abandoning our vessel. Any of my clans are space flight capable species receiving this message. I implore you, we need your help. Unfortunately, you are dead and gone. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. Uh Perhaps caused by the signal a skull found? I don't know. Random. Uh, let's see, what's the first number that I see? I see a six for my GPU temperature. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ears. <laughs> yeah, no, I know I'm running low on fuel. Okay. So I'm going to. Even though I know we probably do not have the time. So I'm curious what the ship's uh, logs are going to say. No warp core. I now have warp core. Warp core has been destroyed. Yep. Ask mine to take it on a journey with me. Uh, I 
Actually, the ship will tell me if there's more to find here. Excellent. I now have a warp core. Can I put it on my shelf? No. Uh, return suit. How do I drop this? Nope, I guess it is now forever in my hands. You ship log. Because we have lots of information. You entry. There's more to explore here, okay. I found the derelict Amai vessel deep within Dark Bramble. The vessel's warp core is long dead. The Amai tried to call for help, but the vessel's outgoing message system broke during the crash. The vessel can still hear incoming messages from other Namai vessels. Yep, so good call on that one. The remaining Namai clans are regrouping in response to the impending death of the universe. I found a recording of the original signal that Namai encountered from the Eye of the Universe. The Namai were worried the signal might disappear, so they warped before they could tell another clan where they were going. Well, sounds like a them problem. Jetpack. What happens if I buckle up while I'm carrying this? It just. No, oh, it just sticks in my hands. Okay. Open hatch. So this does say there's more to explore here. We'll probably continue exploring the vessel as much as we can until the sun explodes. Here. Where's the scout that I sent? So the Dark Bramble is the source of the signal. Is it the source of the signal that is older than the universe? Well, I guess it would make sense if this place it does, because it's, it warps space-time so badly. Is there anything more in this area? Yeah. Door core. So it's out of my hands. I don't think this will do anything in the meantime with no power. the source. I want see and anything else we can explore. There might be more information we'll get if we bring back a warp working drive core, is my guess. Oh, down. And this is a big ass ship. Looks like an escape pod that didn't fire. So that's the design of like their escape pods. That's the inside of where we were just exploring the one way glass. Oh. Yeah. 
back to my ship. Yeah, so I think the information that is left to gain will come from trying to get a working drive core, bring it back, which I believe requires us to figure out everything with um, the forge. Bringing the Black Forge down, going to the teleporter that is on Ash Twins, taking that to the forge, and getting a core. Which we're not going to be able to do on this run. I mean... Hello, Kirk! Kirk, we snuck by some murder fishies. Many murder fishies. Even said hi to their nest. Okay. Um. So. I think right now the best thing would be, unfortunately, to just suicide. Unless this will throw us out to the sun. Is the music your countdown? Um, I don't know, actually. How's the sun looking? No. I'm hearing the roar of the sun. Yep. I don't know where the sun is, but it is now exploding. Good call. We did not stab the fishies. We actually snuck right by them. We yeeted ourselves into the portal and then just stopped all of our engines just so we floated past them. Here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so if I hear that music, that means it's about to explode. Good to know. Okay. So we're now at our 40th loop. I'm gonna take a quick break, run to the bathroom, probably grab something to eat because I'm starting to get a bad headache, probably because I haven't eaten anything today. And then we're going to go to Ash Twin first, figure out where that teleporter is again, and then on the next loop after that, do the whole forge teleporter. Okay, so we're gonna pause right here. I will. Be right back.
And I'm back. Okay. To Ash Twin. Try to find that teleporter. Memorize how to get to that teleporter. So then when I'm having to do it timed, not as big of a deal. And I now have my busy drink. <laughs> Let's do that. There wasn't anything new on this. Yeah, so we need to go the Ember Twin that had it. When am I detect a quantum signal coming from somewhere in the Isle of Glass? In the canyon at the Twins for Yak. Angler Fish. Sunless City. I know there's more to explain the Sunless City, it's just because there's the sand. No, my shell is frozen on the interloper. Right, because I did find that interloper. I still haven't taken a look at Hallow's Lantern. I think we've explored everything else at least once. So. Go up. Going, going on a trip. Why am I using my mouse and keyboard? Oh. Go up. Now go here. Nope, not the sun. Hourglass. Oh. Um, autopilot, you are absolutely destroying my ship. Thanks. Ow. Everything is broken. Oh, I might not be able to fix this. Um. Oh, my poor, poor ship. Uh huh. I don't... Oh, it's gonna explode in a minute. I'm tempted to just make sure I'm right there when it does explode. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Great. I should count all the times that this, the autopilot has somehow led to my death. <gasps> We're probably at double digits for autopilot deaths at this point. <laughs> Suit. Specifically, what are you? Oh, wait, you, which are not usually here. What if I... The problem is, is that I know as soon as I look away from it, it's gonna be gone. Because if I unbuckle, turn, and look back, and it's gone. Annoying. I'm not flying into the sun right now, am I? Nope, no, no, no. Uh, Ash Twin, yes. That is the quantum moon. It, uh, likes to say hi, but it's very, very shy. Mm. 
I've made a mess. Wait, I get the quantum moon again? You really want to say hi. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. No, you're just the normal moon. Okay, you're the one that's actually tied with this. Okay, I need to, yes, go over here. Oh, nope, we're, we need to actually land this. Not whatever the fuck we just did. Okay, landed. Open hatch. Eat. Oh, there's very little. Here is. Go over here. Oh, ow. Uh, hold X. Super frozen ship. I can now get into... Oh dear, you are dead. I fear our situation may be dire. Pi, Poke, and I landed here on this comet not long after its arrival in the star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Pi and Poke were able to locate a fissure in the ice in the comet's sunward side, and they descended inside to investigate the source of the readings. But Pi and my sister have been gone for a long time now. They haven't contacted me either since descending below the surface either. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Poke, Pi, Come back to me safely, my friends. Fortunately, that's not what happened. So I now have another ship. Oh, it's a. Can I steal their shit, their stuff? No? It would make sense to try to take their... Maybe it's immune to electricity, that would be useful. And this just shoots me into various parts of the solar system. It's not what I want to do right now. Yeah, there's that poor bugger. Well, that wasn't exactly what we were looking for. Oh, we now have more information. I want to go... Here. Is there some the city? Oh, I couldn't go past here because of cactuses. Gravity cannon. I swear with that you have to sleep early due to 6 a.m. shift in the morning. Oh no! That's fucking early, mate. Oh, is this the sand that is continuing to fill this area? Just fuck me, am I right? Okay, it does not look like there's actually any way out of here except for. here. Okay, so this is not the entrance we want to go. Because that was the ship that was um, frozen on the comet that is circles this comet. Um, they had landed on the dark side end of or ship ended up freezing. 
Huh. Here's a lander. This isn't the teleport. This teleports somewhere. here? High energy lab. Oh no, you're broken. I can't enter. Oh, you're a vision? A key, though. Hmm. That's where I want to go. Okay. I didn't buy a signal there, but. Oh, it's my buddy. Is my buddy right there? I think it's the last buddy that I haven't found. Oh, and he'll have fuel. Hey, just gonna steal your fuel before I talk to you. Talk to Chert. Hey, Chert, why do you look like an egg? Is that what I look like? Do I look like an egg? I forgot this one of two morning shifts they gave you. Which is what you like, but you should go to bed soon. Okay, good night. Thanks for tuning in for a time. And I know morning, sh like you prefer morning ships, shifts. But uh, that's still way too early for me. Goodness, it's you. Hello. I take it your first launch went well then? You mean my 41st launch? <laughs> Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Mind the sand now. Hornfell's asked me to update our star charts, so I'm out here observing. This is one of the best places in the solar system to spot astronomical events, you know. What's weird is I've actually seen a couple of supernova today. Usually I'd be fortunate to see just one. Keep an eye or two on the stars, and maybe you'll spot one yourself. I found something. Oh, jeez. I have a lot I can tell him about. Let's see, I found your notes about the Adel Rocks main c Did you? I hope they were useful. I don't remember. The planet I mentioned may have been frozen solid, or just partially made of ice, like a much colder giant steep. It's hard to stay. I used to be the f it used to be the fifth planet in our solar system. You'll notice, of course, that there's no such planet now. In its place is Dark Ramble, which how to put this grew into the space the fifth planet used to occupy. That is, Dark Bramble quite literally appeared at the center of the fifth planet and began destroying it from the inside out. Eventually, the planet shattered completely and its shards were flung across space. Some of these shards collided with the celestial bodies in our solar system, such as the Adel Rock, which I believe is now its biggest crater, how its biggest crater was formed. My question for you. I found something. Am I writing about the quantum moon? Oh yes, everyone loves a good mystery, don't they? Reason I'm playing this game. Who wouldn't wonder about a moon that's sometimes there and sometimes not? I've observed the quantum moon orbiting each of the five planets, but sometimes it quite simply disappears from the sky altogether. Maybe there's another place it travels to. Unfortunately, if there is, I've never seen it. Perhaps if I take a closer look at these star charts. Question, found something the sun station. Is that what's in orbit around the sun then, do you think? This sun station? Quite clever of the Namai to devise a way to study the sun up close and personal. It must have been tremendously difficult to construct. And hot inside. I can only imagine. I wonder how... I wonder how were they able to travel back and forth from the sun station and the hourglass twins when the slightest sip up would have meant a fiery death. They have a teleporter somewhere. 
question. Found something. I found modern to my transmission says in the universe is dying. You uh, what? I I don't um what? You you mean to say there are modern Namai out there in other parts of space and they believe the universe, all of it, the whole thing is dying currently? R right now? If if that's true, how could I have missed so many signs? The supernova were there, but I but but I've been studying the stars for well well, what does it matter if... Oh. I'm very sorry, but, but I have to look over my charts. I uh, hope you don't m mind. Oh, I made them all nervous. Oh. But surely I would have seen some of the signs of the supernova, so perhaps... Okay, you know, he is... I have freaked him out. And I did my signal nearby. Oh, I haven't. There we go. Quantum fluctuations. Anything nearby here? Not... Oh, it's the moon again. I broke him. I did. Like, we'll have to come back. Oh, I can roast off marshmallow. Roast marshmallows here, too. Cool. Um. There's a ship. If I jump down over here. This is a place I want to go to. Yes. Oh no, that's just. Oh, this is just gonna be a bunch of death. Well, this was unfortunate. Oh. Um. Yeah. Okay. Where are these caverns? I think too much time has passed. Have I read these? Oh, I don't think so. I don't recognize the one on the ground. Coleus is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cave, the one at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole, several days ago, and we're unable to find any trace of him. I don't know how much air he had when he disappeared. I beg any friend reading this, help us recover Coleus. This rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? because your unique color and texture appears identical to a rock I met earlier. Wasn't this the same rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole? We plan to re-examine the Northern Lake Bed Cave. Maybe our friendly rock will meet us down there. An update. Malore and I went back to the lake bed cave and observed this, sun this rock again. Sometimes it's there, and so it's a uh, one of the teleporting rocks. That means this rock wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. Um, I'm going very far that way. I did. That's right back. It's short. You're saying identify a signal nearby when I'm looking that way down. Oh, hello, rock. Ow. Um, hello, Mr. Bitches. The rock killed me? That was super rude. Head back there. It says something on the dry lake bed to the north. Oh, I've gotten chocolate all over the shirt. Ugh. Rip. Bug. Oh, jeez. So lake bed cave. I 
A strange wire and rock is more to explore here. Yeah, I know there's probably more to explore there. Um, I just unfortunately... Subsurface energy readings. The shell's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Actually, I'm going to... I have a replacement shirt next to me, so I'm going to actually switch out the shirt. Two of the Nomai located a fissure in the ice on the other sunward side. They just oh, so there might be something to investigate on the interloper's sun side. I called in my shuttle from the interloper. Nomai landed on the interloper not long after its arrival in the solar system. The shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings come from somewhere. Oh, so is this the interloper the cause of the? Um. Quantum rocks? Uh, view entry. Oh. Was first found a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at Ember Twins North Pole. So we're going to Ember Twins North Pole. Am I detected quantum signal coming from somewhere to her? Yeah, so let's go to the North Pole. Ember twin. Suit up. Buckle up. Why it didn't break clear, clean. Um, so which way is the North Pole on this place? Like, this is the equator. Dry lake. Where's the crouch? No quantum caves. Dry lake bed. Here, I'm missing. And hey, we have returned with you, hopefully less broken, so I can uh, hear what other tales you might have for me. Don't question my parking job, everything's fine. Uh, I have a question for you. How do I know if I spot a supernova? Supernova look like extra bright stars to the naked eye, but if you zoom in with your signal scope, you can tell that they're actually enormous explosions. Massive stars go supernova at the very end of their lifespans, which is why it's so unusual to see two in a single day. I wonder if there's, if some of these stars are older than we realized. What are you doing out here? Right now I'm documenting stars. Hornfells notice their star charts are out of date, so they asked me to update them. Please don't tell the others I said this, but sometimes I think I'm the only traveler out here interested in doing any science at all. Um, uh, maybe don't tell Hornfells either. I think they're pretty deep in denial. Where should I explore? To be honest, I haven't left this lake bed. I didn't, don't mean to brag, but I'm really quite good with the little scout. 
So I've been taking pictures of everything from right here in my campsite. Have you seen the old shipwreck site at the Amber Twin Southern Hemisphere? The one shooting a bright beam of light into the sky? It's not one of our own crashes, surprisingly enough. This one's on my ship. You'll find no my ruins across the Twins, but strangely, not a single settlement. Believe me, if there was one to see, I'd have seen it with my little scouts, because it's underground. So where do they live? Not on the surface, clearly. The Amber Twin is full of cave systems, though. Maybe the answer lies underground. Yep. How dangerous that big column of fouling sand. On a scale of one to dev, de on a scale of one to dead, I'd give it a seven or eight. Awfully pretty, though. Right now, sand is flowing from Ash Twin to Ember Twin. But did you know the process eventually reverses? We're not completely sure why the sand flows back and forth between the twins but it seems to be a natural phenomena. Oh, interesting. Oh, if you'd like to see something interesting, check out the other twin once a little more of its sand drains off. I promise you won't be disappointed. I don't think there's anything else to tell him besides that. Uh, we're not gonna, we're not gonna worry him right now. Everything's fine. Jet pack. Quantum caves are down over here. Um. Oh. Hello, friend. I'm guessing you are the thing that's causing quantum fluctuation. Unknown. Hey, shard. And do I turn away, look back, and you're gone? Oh, but I know where it goes because I put my scout on it! Oh, I wonder if I- the next time I see the quantum moon I wonder if I can shoot my scout on it, and then I can keep track of it. Hmm. Okay, put away. Friendly. Friends, if you find any sign of Chloe's, I implore you to tell me. He, he vanished without a trace during our research trip, and he has been missing ever since. Milore, some of us from the Sunless City are here to help search for Cloleus. Can you tell us more about your expedition? You have my gratitude, Burr. Cloleus and I were studying the cave's geology. We hope to learn more about a unique and wandering rock that visits several different caves in the area. Where was young Cloleus lost, Milore? He disappeared at the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. It happened in an instant, without warning. I turned away from Coleus to examine a sample, and when I turned back, he simply wasn't there anymore. He had a limited supply of air, Anona. I'm afraid for him. Hypothesis. We will learn more by examining the northern lake bed cave where Coleus disappeared. Search quickly, everyone. We have no time to squander. Well, so, if I get on top of this thing... Oh. Uh, now it's back. Keep looking at it. I land on top of it. And now I look up and back down. Okay, I'm still at this cave. Is it because I'm on it, I wonder? Like, it's bringing my scout with it. Oh, though I could, what I could do. Um. Let's take a look at what it sees. Huh. Not there. Back and it's back again. 
I was hoping there was gonna be a way for me to like ride it to wherever cave it's going. I think that's what happened to Coleus, but it doesn't seem going to be the case. I mean, I can go and try to over there now. Let's see if I can find it. Hello, sand. Bye, sand. Oh, I it never registered that the the distress beacon. Yeah, distress beacon. Get pod two. Like too much time has passed. I don't think this is gonna actually help us. But Oh, there were instructions. I don't remember the instructions. Why does the square markings in the lock room look like you form a QR code if you look at it the right way? What did I just launch? Excuse me, game. Look at the Xbox game bar? Uh, no thank you. I know you guys can't see any of this, but, uh, settings? Why are you... What are you? Go away. I don't want any. Huh. I hit something on the, the, the keypad and it brought up a overlay? like talking about sent me I'm gonna walk forward until you make the sand ball at the pit. Somehow I think I went the wrong way. Walk forward. Way is forward. Is this way forward? That doesn't look forward. Ooh. Okay. Walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit, then turn left. Continue to the room filled with rock column formations and climb upward through the opening. Here and turn. Ah, uh, turn left. Walk forward. 
forward until here, and it's set to climb up. Nope. Thing I was wearing. Bridge, crash, really strong. No bridge. Oh, well. Well, I'm down here now. Okay, yep, this is where I'm gonna go. Oh, and it's through the sand. Still rising. I guess it might have broken. Aha. What is up here? Ghost possible ghost stuff in this matter nearby. Yeah, so there's something past there, just there's a lot of ghost orbs. much ghost. Uh, but it looks like there's a floor that is out on over here. I go back. Oh crap, I can't go over there anymore. Hmm. Stupid sand ruining my fun. What happens if it gets out of its hand? I'm starting to have these less things that I can do. What's them talking about? Project. Other side for the gravity cannon. Gravity cannon. Yes, 
now filled with sand. Oh, the sun is looking very, very red. Scout hazard. Might be because it's uh in the middle of some ghosty goose. Almost out of fuel. Where's my ship? My ship is on the other side of the planet? Yeah, pretty much on the other side of the planet. And sand. My best option is probably just going to be going to start. So I'm just going to use all the rest of my oxygen. are very, very close to the ending. I just got an achievement cutting it close. Didn't still find the teleporter again. Hmm. <gasps> We're gonna go back there go and head immediately to the Sunless City. See if there's more that we can explore before the sand ruins are fun. Sandy moon, sandy planet, sandy whatever you are, you are in my fucking way. Okay, I want you where they landed. Doesn't really matter. We're probably not going to be coming back to our ship. Catch.
around it need to go. This part of your fill your tanks here. That's fine. This past just because probably I believe they didn't start to falling too much. It's space, yeah, I'm space dying a lot too. Thank God for infinite redos. I uh. accidentally. No, no, no. Take left. Going down. Snow never dies. Snow dies a lot. Are you kidding? No, I die. I die a lot. It's just we're in an infinite time loop, so. Thank god. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to look up. Aha. Up. Uh, after this joke, you can ban. I done. No banning unless you really, really deserve it. Oh, I accidentally went the wrong way. Awesome. Oh, suit puncture. Get a little bit higher up, and then go through the sand. Oh, it does not. I don't think there's a way past. I think I scrapped. I should just suicide. You know what? Kill myself, turn myself into pink. Bad jokes are the sin of mankind. Bad jokes, I love myself. A good bad joke. I have a really soft spot for dad jokes, so. Okay. Let's actually try to follow their instructions, because they are pretty clear on where I'm supposed to go. I just get distracted. Buckle up. Going to you guys. Push myself into Spain. I pan poop. Yes, I did. Right now, you're the best tester in. SOT Insider? SOT? What is SOT? SOT. Sea of Thieves! Ah! Ah! It's a beta build of Sea of Thieves. Ooh, that's exciting. Anything interesting new? That I've played Sea of Thieves, so I won't necessarily know much. Like I own Sea of Thieves, it is just never a game that I've had the ability had the chance to really play. I can't say though, Sally, you're spinning I'm just spinning your ship around. No, is it that you can't say do to um an NDA? Or is it just because you're not sure what new has been changed? Mm 
Yeah, so an NDA. Well, that, that's always fun. I've been in a couple of uh, beta NDA. This one. Do not follow to the end. Here, maybe. Oh, this passage leads to brief air. It's not really though. Yeah. Yes, I know you're under NDAs all of the time for your work. You're not necessarily under an NDA because you're beta testing games, though. Sometime, at some point, I will go sailing with you. Should be the walk forward, turn the same pit, take a left, keep going then until you go up. Your NDA is called HIPAA and it's complicated. Yeah, HIPAA is very complicated and very strict. Oh, and most NDAs are also super strict. Wait, no Mass Effect spaceship, but she flies. When you're on the sea? Uh, I've been doing a lot of sailing in Valheim lately. I was just gonna show that the bridge on my craft is your job, but it's so strong. Um, it is going here? Don't want to go that way. That way leads back to the beginning, not the way I want to go. Ah, there's the bridge. Now through. Going well, a little farther. And go. Open the door. Okay. I should have a lot of time. Turn all of these on. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, we have so much time. I think this goes to gravity cannon. Oops, I broke it. Nope. It's again not what I wanted to happen. Oh right, they rebuild themselves because they're cool like that. Stepping stone cave. Oh, I don't I don't think I've been to the stepping stone cave yet. And the stepping stone. Oh. That looks like death that way. Oh no, did the. Oh, it's down. Shit. This is just gonna lead to my death. Oh, but if I wait a minute, the sand will cover them and I can walk past. You need to get into Valheim? You own it? So. It you to Sea of Thieves is how I am to Valheim. Ah, bitches. Okay. So this was a dead end. Shit. What does that even mean? Meaning, uh, I play a shit ton of Valheim and do a lot of sailing. Oh, I just got crushed. Okay, I think it's the first time I've ever been crushed. Ooh, that sounded unpleasant. Those are all my bones breaking. No, no, no. I, it's just saying that, like, I have played a lot of Valheim, but you own it and haven't played any of it. And you have played a lot of Sea of Thieves, and I have it and never played of it. Like, if you enjoy Sea of Thieves, you, I think you would probably really enjoy Valheim. I think we're going to try to collect all of the deaths. All the different types of deaths. Okay, I think this is gonna be my last 
run this. Well, it is going to be a little bit earlier. Um, I'm meeting with a friend to have an anime night. And I want to make sure I have time to see. You missed a joke as a sea mile away. A nautical mile. One full nautical mile away. Okay, let's try this again. Oh. Yeah, I don't, there's probably another way to get to the Sunless City. This is just the only one I know how to. Light. information. So we have Angler Fish Outlook District, Stepping Stone District, I shrub. I think I want to go to the high energy lab. It is all the way down here. Power line, follow the putter line. Eee, la da da da. Um. Nope. Do not follow the power line, apparently. Let's 
the only way to go, though. Plus... Okay. Ooh, maybe. Yes. Found a light. Where will you leave me? Where I want to go, I hope. Stepping stone cave. Shit. If I was going the right way. And I still fit in here. Yes. But I can't get past... Of spiky spikes. Yep. And now I might actually be stuck. Hmm. Well, at least this is the way out. lab is where I need to go. Let's see, what is... Oh. Gone. Overlook. I mean... Oh, this just looks over at the anglerfish. And there has to be a way in there. I don't know how. Oh, but the, if there's an anglerfish here, that might mean that there's a bramble nearby. It's the only thing I can think of how it got here. This also still isn't the teleporter to the dark fork. Yeah. Place is coming in. Uh, where the sand's going. Ow. Into spikes. That's where the sand's going. Into spikes. Ooh, there's a scroll in there. How do I get you? A magical scroll. Bitches. Ah, uh, da da da. Why can't I get rid of this this pokey pokes? Oh, I'm out of O2. Shit. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna call it here. I didn't get as far as I would have liked. But we do have some more information and I th really think the next bits that we need to know is some is on here and I, it might just keep needing to loop through so I can try to beat the sand. Okay, so with that one, I think we're gonna call it. Um, so... Yeah, definitely not getting as much done as well, but I, I, I'm guessing we're getting to the part of the game where all of the easy bits of information have already been picked up. So it is just trying to get all of the other uh, smaller bits and timing and all of that. I'm not looking forward to trying to time getting the forge in a position to be used, getting to the teleporter to go to the forge, and then maybe getting whatever I take to the forge back to the vessel. That's going to be obnoxious to do in 20 minutes, but we will 
handle it when we get there. I will be back on Sunday. Not with this. It's going to be my normal co- well, my new normal co-stream day with the lovely goggle candy. We, I believe we know what we're playing, but I'm going to, just in, in case uh, I am incorrect, I'm not going to announce what we're going to be playing on Sunday, but it is going to be something we haven't played before. So I'm kind of excited. But I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their weekend. I will hopefully see you Sunday. Um, I will, of course, be hanging around my Discord for anyone who wants to pop in and say hi at any point. Let's see, is there anyone currently streaming that we can raid? Oh, Firefox. Please load my Twitch so I can see who is streaming right now. Mm, the only one of my friends or people that I follow who are streaming right now is Blasty. So I guess we could go go say hi to Blasty. He is currently playing Pokemon Heart Gold. I didn't know he played Pokemon. Raid. Uh, two eyes. Hey. So have a wonderful night, everyone. And I hopefully will see you on Sunday. <laughs> Bye. Yo, what's up, boys and girls? Thanks for the raid. How you doing? So no being, old, being old man and just Pokemon and, and hanging out. What's up? The oldest. Blasty drinks. A wild ghastly. Oh, I like the animation on. As long as I don't one shot him here with Razor Leaf, this will be the time it crits. Ooh. Didn't. 